They want to put a facility offshore that's going to take this gas out of the ground and refrigerate it and to the point where it becomes a liquid. And when it's a liquid, it's 600 times smaller than it would be as a gas. So they can transport it via tankers from one place to another. And they've managed to get it down into a ship that's still going to be the biggest ship ever built in the world. It's going to be over 480 metres long and 74 metres wide, which is 50% bigger than any super tanker that you can imagine. But there's nobody in the world who's got the experience yet to deal with this kind of project because no one's built this kind of project yet. But we clearly demonstrated that we had the technology to calculate the risks on a project of this scale. Well, Icons has got massive uh, in-depth experience in analysing fires and explosions on offshore platforms. We have the technical skills up in the Glasgow team where we look at the historical frequency of accidents happening and then we have a great computational fluids dynamics team down in Epsom who do all the fancy clever computer analysis of gas flow and fires and explosions and we need to bring those two together to work out what the risks are associated with this project. The main problems really are that we have this massively complex plant and we need to design it to withstand the explosions that could happen, the massive long duration fires that could happen and also the cryogenic threats associated with releases of extremely cold liquids which can damage steel within seconds. The biggest problem was actually when we first produced our set of results for the client, we had a measure that we were supposed to be comparing these results against and it was clear that the results in terms of the risks to the people and the risk to the asset itself were intolerable as far as their measure was concerned. And so we had to do something about that. We had to go back. We had to look at where those risks were coming from and to identify which were the main contributors. And we had to try and figure out what we could do about them. And this might have meant removing some of the process, changing the process slightly so that there's some extra valves in there, or maybe having a look at what the consequences of this fire are and maybe putting some passive fire protection on some of the structures or vessels that are that are key targets in this area to try and bring the risks down and stop the facility burning down if there is an accident. 